When the tsunami waters surged back to the sea last year, they carried off staggering amounts of rubble. Now, some have started washing up on North American shores. In fact, Japan's government says as much as 1.5 million tons could end up there. This has prompted an American journalist to visit the source of the debris. NHK World's Tomoe Yoshinaga reports. On a day in June, residents of Newport, Oregon, were surprised to find this on the beach. It used to be a floating pier at a fishing port in Japan. In Newport, locals called it the Tsunami Dock. It had drifted 7,300 kilometers from Misawa City in Aomori Prefecture, all the way to the U.S. Now more debris is littering North American shores. And Japan's Environment Ministry forecast a lot more in December. This month, a journalist from Oregon visited Japan. She plans to write about debris in a book she's researching. Bonnie Henderson published a book in 2008 about other objects that have washed up in Oregon. But even a veteran journalist like her was surprised by the dog. Majority of the debris that is expected from, from the tsunami um, has not arrived yet. It's still in the ocean. And yet this dock showed up out of nowhere. And it was a big surprise to people. Henderson decided to go to Misawa to learn more about tsunami rubble. City of Shoto Hall how the locals used the pier before the wave found its shore. The locals who experienced a giant wave told her their stories. I saw the tsunami from my boat out at sea. The waves raced towards the land, and then for several minutes, the land, it completely disappeared from sight. The tsunami was that big. Henderson wants to include these stories in her book. She's sure they will help Oregon residents understand the destructive force of earthquakes and tsunamis. A tectonic plate separate from continent lies off Oregon's coast. If the plate moves towards the coast, it could trigger a massive quake and tsunami. But Henderson worries that the people in Oregon aren't doing enough to prepare for this kind of disaster. We will have a tsunami and earthquake about that size. People in Oregon don't understand this very well. We don't have a good infrastructure to deal with that. The writer says her visit to Misawa paid off it's more sure than ever that what happened in Misawa could also happen in Oregon. What makes it real to people is hearing uh, those individual human stories, and I think today I was able to get some of those, and, I, and that's what I was looking for. And people know what the Oregon story is, so what's the Japan story? And uh, that's what I'm trying to do is connect those, yes. The huge concrete pier shows the awesome power of a tsunami and its forceful reminder of how important it is to be prepared. Tomoya Yoshinaga, NHK World, Misawa Aomori.